Good morning. Father in heaven, I come before you this morning, Lord. I gather together with all those folks out there in TikTok land and social media world, Lord, and I really thinking about my teenage son father and how difficult things have been for him since COVID, Lord. It's just been very, very difficult. And I think a lot of our young people are faced with a lot of challenges that we didn't face growing up. Times certainly have changed and the information highway, Lord, as you would say, is, is inundated them with so much knowledge. I think a lot of times it's too much. And I think, Father, that my son, my son especially, Lord, I lift him up to you today and I ask that you help him, Lord, you help him with all of the anxieties. You help him with the depression, the worry, the fear, and the things that he's dealing with in school. <clears throat> our youth, our teenagers, our children really need your help. Lord, they really need, need your help. We can pray for them and we can lift them up, but Lord, you have to show yourself to them in a very real way because this world has become so difficult and so troubling. And as parents, Father, we worry every single day and we see the, we see the difficulties and the trials and the things that they're going through, Lord, and it's puzzling. It's puzzling because we don't know how to help them. We really don't know how to help them. We tell them to pray, but then they feel alone when they pray because you seem so far away, Father. They don't have the understanding to know that you're right there with them in close. And, and then they have the pressures <coughs> of academics, Lord. The school system, the curriculum it doesn't make any sense to me. We're trying to teach our children very complicated, difficult stuff. And for some, they just can't wrap their heads around it. And that adds to the stress. And then there's homes where there's constant division and there's fighting and there's arguing. And then there's homes where there's abuse. So, Father, our children, our teens, our children, our young people are facing so much difficulties. And then on top of all of that, social media, the news, you just don't know what to believe anymore. I can't imagine how confusing and how stressful and how depressed. And then, Lord, you look at the numbers of young teens unaliving themselves. And unfortunately, I can see why, Lord, I can see why I can, I just, this is a completely different world that they're growing up in compared to the world we grew up in. And then, you know, we didn't have access to so much information and this technology that's supposed to be a blessing is actually a curse in my book, Father. It's too much for them. It's too much for them. They sit at those, stare at those, and we all do it, Lord. We all are guilty of doing it. We stare at our phones for six, seven, eight hours a day, and whatever comes through those phones is what we're feeding our minds constantly. And unfortunately, our young people are getting a lot of poison and getting a lot of junk through those phones. So, Father, that's who's heavy on my heart today, my son, and all those young people around the world, Lord, all those young people who are dealing with unbelievable, inexplainable pressures and anxieties and depressions and fears and worries. I lift them all up to you today, Lord, and I ask that you can show yourself real in a supernatural way to all of those young people out there, especially the young people, Lord, who are thinking of doing the doing the worst possible thing they can do. I just pray, Father, that you intervene on their behalf and that you uh, settle the hearts and minds of the young people and uh, reassure them that, that it's going to be okay and that they're going to make it through it. And give us parents and, and guardians and as adults the patience the loving, kind patience that they're going to need, Lord, because this world certainly has been turned upside down. There's no doubt about that. So, Lord, I just ask that you touch every single heart and life that I'm praying for right now. And I thank you. And I pray this in Jesus' name. You all have an amazing day.